All right, so this war Scorp S99 and Ghost Bands. While Silent Sasquatch Boss, you've got Immortal Abomination, Mr. Negative, Quicksilver, um, Mangog, you've got Reed, you've got uh, Mr. Negative, Scorp, you've got Fury, Mole Man, uh, Long Shot, you've got Omega Sentinel, can probably even pull it off but it's risky with Doom, <laughs> uh, Viv, or Kitty Pride. that's who I was thinking of as well. Uh, Vivian, you have Gallon, you have Nebula, Hulkling, you have uh, Tiger, you have Wiccan, and Rintra. Uh, Domino, you have Omega Sentinel and Nimrod. And then uh, Infamous Doom, uh, you've got Gallon, you've also got the Wiccan, Tigra, uh, Rintra options. One through three on the way out, Weapon X, Nimrod, well, no, not Nimrod because a high energy diet. Um, Warlock or Omega Sentinel. Path one, you can take the whole thing with Warlock or Omega Sentinel. Path two, Mojo, Titania, or um, Cassie, Ant Man. Mole Man, either of the Storms. And then uh, Nimrod, you've got Nebula, Claire. Four through six on the way out Kingpin, Omega Sentinel, or Future Ant Man. Bishop on the way in, Infamous Doom, or Omega Sentinel. Path 4, Null, you've got Doom, Absorbing Man, and then Havoc, you've got Warlock and uh, 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 Doc Ock. Uh, path 5, Kitty Pride, Omega Sentinel, Nimrod, um, Absorbing Man, you've got Titania, you've also got Mr. Negative. Path 6, uh, Magneto, House of X, Magneto, or uh, Nimrod, or Omega Sentinel, and then Quicksilver, you've got Mole Man and Fury. Seven through nine on the way out, um, Doom, you've got Cassie, Ant-Man, you've got Quicksilver, uh, Storm on the way in, you can use Nimrod, you can use Infamous Doom, uh, Path 7, uh, Anti-Venom, or A Agent Venom, you can use Omega Red or Apocalypse, and then Annihilus, you can use Doom or Absorbing Man, Path 8, Storm, Omega Sentinel or Nimrod, and then Cersei, Wiccan, uh, Rintra, Tigra. And then Path 9, Spidey Supreme. You have Titania with Absorbing Man Synergy or Ant-Man and Cassie. And then for uh, Kate, I would use any of the robot armor burn options with an Odin Shock Prefight. 1 through 3 in Section 2 going in. Future Ant-Man, you've got Hulkling and you have Magneto. Ma, you have Overseer, and you have Mr. Negative, uh, or Quicksilver. Zemo, you have Magneto, or Future Ant-Man. One through three in section one on the way out. Man-Thing, you have Titania, or Cassie, or Ant-Man. Path one, uh, Korg, you can take with Omega Red, or Apocalypse. And then um, Magneto, you have Omega Sentinel, or Nimrod. Path two, uh, Wiccan, you have Titania, Cassie, all of them, uh, and then Spot, you can use Fury, Crossbones, uh, Mole Man, and then Path 3 is open. Four through six, section one on the way out, Wong, you have Quicksilver, you have Mr. Negative, uh, Mr. Negative actually might be tough, you have Titania. Uh, path four, whole thing with Shang-Chi, or you can use Omega Sentinel or Warlock for um, Claire, and then for uh, Cassie, Fury, or Mole Man. Uh, path 5, Chavez, uh, you've got Titania or Quicksilver, and then Fury, you've got Apocalypse, Omega Red, uh, Magneto, House of X. Path 6, Apocalypse, you've got Omega Sentinel, Nimrod. 7 through 9 on the way out, Rintra, you've got Immortal, Abomination, and Rolk. Path 7, Atuma, Omega Red, or Apocalypse, and then uh, Dragon Man, Apocalypse, or... Quicksilver or Nebula. Path 8, Gallon, Wiccan, Tigra, Rintra. And then Path 9, Void. You have Shang-Chi. You have Cosmic Ghost Rider. Um, and then for Mantis, uh, you can try Apocalypse and build that Incinerate. Uh, or you can use uh, Kitty Pride. So that does it for defense. Let's take a look at attack. All right, so War 10 is against Bayraktar. Today I'm taking in Magneto, House of X, Shang-Chi, and Omega Sentinel. I've got Path 4 in Section 1, Path 1 in Section 2, and a mini-boss on Boss Island. 
Magneto coming for pre-fights only. Uh, and this is a pretty standard, I think I've done this kind of series before. I start the fight off, or this the war off with chang Chi, and then I move to Omega Sentinel and I slap on full recoil for that. So, Claire here on the first note, I've never done this before. Got some advice from it, um, from uh, Royu in our uh, BG. Um, basically, I'm going to PS1. I'm going to do the cleanse wushu, and then I'm not going to heavy reset. That's going to give me a bunch of precision buffs. I'm just going to push my power to special two, and I'm going to use the other wushus as we get there. And then special two with power backs would get me another one to KO her, but it just finishes her with the first first one. So wasn't actually a worry when the fight lasts 15 seconds. Cassie on the next node, so that was the Shang-Chi assignment. Here we are going to make sure our first parry lands due to insult to injury. We're going to place the slow Wushu, then we're going to do the cleanse, then we're going to parry heavy to reset. And then I think I'm going to stick with... No, yeah, no, I just pushed a special two off a of stun Wushu, and then I intercept here, so... If we didn't have the PS1, I would have done a heavy reset, but just kind of did the same thing I did with Claire and pushed a few extra wushus. So I placed pre-fights for this next fight in section two, path one, shocker, taking this with Omega Sentinel, uh, placed a white Magneto pre-fight here, although I did not need it. I realized after rereading his abilities that I'm not going to stun, that's going to charge him. So I'm gonna bait heavies. Heavies are going to consume some of his charges I'm going to avoid letting him throw special one. So we're gonna block bait heavies the entire fight. We're gonna end combo short once he has a special one. And then we're gonna try and push him to special two off the short combo, reinvigorate, not a worry here. He doesn't have any regen of his own. So as long as I'm not dexing back like crazy and I'm only gonna dex from the first throw of the heavy, uh, he's not gonna gain any regen uh, buffs or passives. So. Once we get him to special two, that's when we're gonna bait. I'm gonna end with a medium to make sure he's heal blocked as we try and bait this out. I'm gonna pause this, throws it right away. Retaliate and down goes Shocker. So actually surprisingly easy fight. Move on Toad on Buffet. That was the reason for the Omega Sentinel assignment here. She is nullify immune and we have the heal block. So. When he starts regening, we're just going to prevent reinvigorate with our heal block. So really easy here. Full recoil. He goes down pretty much during special two. And yeah, this is pretty much a nothing fight for Omega Sentinel. Um, she's stripping away prowess. We've got the heal blocks active. So Toad is just a shell that can throw special attacks. And we just have to be ready for them. And then we finish it with our first special two here. And then I didn't pause ever during that. I'm not concerned about the number of incinerates because look at that, he KO'd without them. Next fight, Weapon X here on high energy diet. So pre-fight's placed again. Uh, it's just the heal block, no uh, white magneto pre-fight. This one can be a little bit tricky. You have to be comfortable with Weapon X. I like to block dex and that means i have my block up as i'm de or before i dex and that usually gets weapon x when he's in berserk to throw heavy attacks now i think this entire fight he doesn't throw a heavy attack while in berserk so we get a large chunk of his health off before we ever push him into berserk and then here just kind of trying to dex to get an opening with that heavy intercepted there didn't have the heal block up, so all that regen counted for reinvigorate. I'm not actually paying attention to the re reinvigorate counter. Um, so there's going to be a point here where he actually leaves Berserk. And I think this is going to KO him, but he goes unblockable from reinvigorate. And I end up eating a combo, which is unfortunate. But luckily he didn't have a fury. And then down goes Weapon X. So even with that combo, very safe fight. And then my last one... I uh, saw Fintech take this long shot here with Omega Sentinel. Um, so game plan is to always end with a light, finish all combos with lights. When long shot gets to a special one, we shorten our combos and back up in hopes that he'll try and throw his special one out of the stun. 
uh, and then try to block that special one without ever triggering dexterity. So the start of this pretty smooth. I don't really have any issues. You're gonna start seeing though that I miss a lot of the first parries and I get the reparry. Uh, and that's gonna cause some issues when we start trying to bait special ones because I do trigger decks. And that just makes it a bit more complicated as to dropping the special three without long shot having too much power. So here we are trying to get this out. He threw it, so we're sitting pretty. And I think it's from this point on, we start triggering dexterity, not intentionally, just missing the first parry. And then as a result, dexing. So there it is. Now I'm just gonna try and dex out this special one. We already have the buff. I'm getting ready to pay attention to his power bar when he throws his special attack so that I can see how much MD he actually has. And it actually does not look like that much. So I try it one more time of getting him to special one and trying to get it out. He throws a heavy here right away. I have to dex the second hit or get hit. So again, we're in this dex position. And at this point I go, okay, well, let me just go hit him. MD's not that bad, but I trigger the special three too quickly after the medium medium. So the incinerates here get consumed from conflictor with the heal block. Not a big deal. He's down to 8%. So I'm just gonna block this special two, get my opening and finish my war. So smooth war, fun war. Our BG got our first donut. So we broke our consistency in the best way possible. And then we ended up winning this war at this moment, 14 to six. Um, I don't know what it finished. I'd get this video out earlier, um, but yeah, good war from us. That's in our range of what we shoot for. Two more wars on the season. Um, Saturday's video might not exist or might not get posted till Monday or Tuesday. So don't expect it on Sunday. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit subscribe, give it a like, and I'll catch you guys at the next war.